What's going on gang, it's Gergie Scott here. So if you want to hold a handstand like this, it's going to take some work, but no worries, I got you. In today's video, we're going to look at three exercises that will take your short string to the next level and get you one step closer to unlocking that handstand. Let's get to it. Alright gangsters, so if you watched the last video, you know that there are five components to the handstand that all have to come together. Today, we're covering the shoulder string component. I'll demonstrate each exercise, give you some gains tips, and then from there I want you to go out and apply these concepts. Alright, so waste no time, let's get right into it. The first exercise we'll look at is the pike push-up. The reason pike push-ups are so gainful is because of how easily you can regress or progress the movement to your individual skill level. No matter what level you're at, you can do these push-ups and they'll be effective. All you have to do is find out which variation matches your current strength level and work your way up from there. What are the variations? Well, I'm glad you asked. Now, before we get into pike push-ups, you need a minimum of 15 to 20 deep chest to ground push-up reps. If you're trying to learn a handstand before you can even do basic push-up reps, then you're trying to fly before you can even walk. Remember, it's always important that we master the basics first, then we can move on to those advanced intermediate variations. Once you're ready, we can now get into our good form pike push-ups. Emphasis on good form. You need about 8 to 12 good form pike push-ups, and then we can move on to the next level. Now here's a quick gains tip. A lot of you might be asking, how is doing reps going to translate to me doing a static handstand? How's it going to help me hold the handstand? Now a handstand is a static hold, meaning there's no movement. Ideally, your body stays in the same position the whole entire time. Static holds are one of many ways to build strength. Now what we know about the body is that it's amazing in the way that it can handle and adapt to new stimulus and new stress. So if we're giving the body dynamic exercises, which are the pike push-ups, and static exercises like wall handstand holds, the two of these coming together, forcing our body to constantly adjust, is going to build us ultimate shoulder strength. So to build strength for the handstand and handstand push-ups, train static holds and train your reps. Trust me, your body will thank you. After the floor pike push-ups comes parallel pike push-ups. You want at least eight good clean reps before you can move on. Next are elevated pike push-ups. We're really bringing the hips up now and getting some strong, deep pushes. Shoot for five to eight clean reps before you move on. After that comes elevated parallel pike push-ups. Minimum five clean, deep reps before you move on. Now the rest of these variations are just bonus gains. If you can do any of these variations, you no doubt have the strength to hold a handstand for a pretty good amount of time. Now it just becomes a matter of making your hold better, longer, and stronger. At this point, we're also building strength towards a handstand push-up. If you're at this level, keep going. You are starting to become beast mode. The next exercise we'll cover are wall static handstand holds. Now there are two different ways we can do this movement. One way is stomach facing the wall, and the other is stomach facing away from the wall, which we'll talk about later in this video. If you're a beginner, or if you're doing wall handstands for the very first time, then you need to be doing it with your stomach facing away from the wall. With this method, you'll still be able to build amazing shoulder strength, as well as have the ability to bail out the movement once your shoulders start to fatigue. In order to have a good handstand, you need to be able to safely and comfortably kick up to the wall and come down from the wall. Once you can do that, you're now able to hit some good, long, nice static holds. Now the only downside of handstand with our stomach facing away from the wall is that we're forced to have a slight banana back as our feet make contact with the wall. Since our primary goal for this is just to build shoulder strength, it's okay to have that banana for now, but eventually we'll work on getting rid of that completely. For our back facing wall handstand, we want to work our way up to a good clean 30 to 60 second hold. If you can do that, then we made huge progress into locking that handstand. Now what's critically important during this movement and all the other movements that we're learning is that we focus on our form. We want to practice the movement the same way with the right form every single time. Our arms need to be completely locked out during this exercise. We don't want even a slight bend. Our glutes are flexed, toes pointed, and most importantly, we're breathing. In through the nose and out the mouth. A handstand is a full body movement, so everything from our toes to our head needs to be engaged. When we can do these movements consistently and clean, then we're on our way to handstand city. The last games exercise that we'll look at are handstand wall walks. So do you remember earlier when I was talking about mixing dynamic and static movements for ultimate strength gains? This exercise is a perfect way to do it. It's challenging, but will take us to that next level. Now this variation of the wall hold is going to simulate a true good form handstand, but before we get here, we have to make sure that we're comfortable entering and exiting this position. The last thing you want to do is find yourself in this position with no way to get down. I've seen many people go up and then come crashing down because they didn't know what to do once they got up there and they didn't know how to bail out correctly. If it's a struggle to get in this position and hold it for more than 30 seconds, then you're not ready. If you can hold it and bail out comfortably, this is how the movement should look. We start by walking our way up to the wall in a stomach facing the wall handstand. Key points are making sure that the hips stay square and that the hands are facing forward the whole entire time. We don't want the hips wild and swinging and we don't want our wrists turning out. We want to keep tension and stay square throughout the whole movement. At the top, we're locked out in that perfect handstand hold and then we repeat the movement. When we come down from the wall, the goal is to get completely parallel with the ground. Make sure we're breathing, staying tight, and focusing. For this exercise, the pike push-ups and the wall static holds, I promise you, if done consistently and correctly, 
will take you to that next level of short strength. I wouldn't lie to you. All right, guys, so whoop, there it is. Those are my top three exercises for building strength in the handstand and the handstand pushup because you can work on the both at the same entire time. All right, so if you learned something good from this video, make sure you give it a like, share it with a friend that wants to get their handstand. I'm gonna leave some workout tips and suggestions for reps and sets you guys can hit in the comments to so make sure you check that out. Uh, subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And as always, as always, as always, have a gainful day.